Boys, you part. Calvary Christian Academy and Daycare, located at 2139 Jacksboro Park, behind Murphy's Gas in La Follette. Also located at 2139 Jacksboro Park is Calvary Worship Center. Our midweek service is Thursday at 7 p.m. Sunday worship service at 6 p.m. For more information, you can call 423-562-7267. That's 423-562-7267. When every second counts, count on Vital Care Med Trans. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. So when you call 911, ask for the best. Wait a minute, are you Vital Care? Yes, we are. Good. State-of-the-art equipment and a well-trained staff who stand ready to respond to your call. That's Vital Care Medtrans, when nothing but the best will do. Middle school softball is over, high school softball is over, but our baby Cougars middle school baseball team had one more game on its slate, and that was Thursday night, at home against our neighbors to the north, Jellicoe. It was 8th grade night, and yours truly had the honor of announcing this one. Ten young men will move on to play next year for Chris Mays at Campbell County High School, but we'll get to that in just a minute. But first, to the game. We won over Jellico 13-5. Jellico jumped out on top. Won a nothing in the first. We tied in the bottom half of the first. We held them scoreless in the top of the second. We scored two in that frame, our frame, we should say to go ahead three to one and we held them scoreless in the top of the third and in our half of the third we broke loose for ten big runs to seal the deal and we will be in the upper Cumberland the district tournament May the 7th through the 9th and that's what region that we're in I guess the upper Cumberland district will be in the upper Cumberland district tournament May the 7th through the 9th and guess where it's held that's right Brown Archer Field and we'll let you know more about that when we know more we do know that we will be awful young next year on the middle school team as we say goodbye to 10 8th graders and they are Landon Addington, Timmy Zapanik, Nate Small Johnson, Brett Longmar, Zach Suffrage, Thomas Wilson, Gabe Carroll, now he wasn't there by the time we took this picture, Hunter Richardson, Jared Tackett and Drew Jordan. Now they've been coached all the season by head coach Justin Willoughby, we call him J-Dub around here assisted by Patrick Lamb, Jacob Mundy, and Big Aaron Chapman. But we wish these guys all the best. There's a little guy, though, I'm trying to get an interview out of. His name is Gavin Cooper. If I can grab him, get him down to Papa John's Pizza and interview him, that would be so wonderful. But he's on the uh, Campbell County High School track team. He has set records in the 5K cross country and the 3200. Now, he's a freshman, and they say he's probably the fastest freshman that's ever ran at Campbell County High School, and, and that's saying something, folks. But we'll have an interview with Gavin Cooper as soon as we can for you. Lily loves the diner on Jacksboro Park, and it's no wonder with all the goodies they have down there, not to mention the great home cooking. Not surprising, they're voted Campbell County's best again for 2014. Open Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m., Thursday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., also open Saturday from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now serving breakfast on Saturdays, 8 to 11 a.m., and it's all-you-can-eat specials Thursday through Saturday. Welcome to the diner where you'll find all your favorite foods. Come by and see Amanda or Linda at the diner on Jacksboro Pike, 423-566-4708. Okay, we're going to tell you one more time. May the 9th, 2015, North Lake, La Follette, Tennessee, Lonish Young Park Ramp, Morristown Marine will host a fishing tournament. It's, it, folks, this is supposed to be a big one, but when I go to the website, I can't find out a whole lot. And if you can, then you're smarter than I am, but i tell you what. If you know Dwayne Kitch, you can call him. He knows a lot more about us than that website does. So give Dwayne a call. And while we're on the subject of fishing, we're also going to have an interview with one of the top two anglers in the entire state of Tennessee in high school, Mr. Trevor St. John. And we're going to have a sit down with him and his high school teammate, Craig Wilson, whom have teamed up to win numerous tournaments. And Trevor, he'll tell you, he wouldn't be where he is today without Craig. So. We're going to set both of them down and let you get to know these two guys. Okay, we got some info from Chanel Nelson, who is the track coach at La Follette Middle School. 
After finishing the sectionals last Thursday, the following middle school had 18 athletes go, by the way. And the top five move, will move on to the East Tennessee Middle School Elite Championships. Now, for the girls, we had our 4x8, Alexis England, Tara Evans, Lexi Higginbotham, and Carista Pelham. They placed fourth, so guess what? They're going. Jaden Hargrave placed fourth in the 100-meter hurdles, and she's going. Hannah Carroll placed fourth in the high jump. Remember, the top five go. On the boys' side, the 4x200 relay team, Mike R Riley Wallace, Jonathan Garner, Dustin Gibson, and Josh Tritt. They play six and fourth in their four by 100, so we don't know. I think they're going. Blake Kibler placed third in the 3200 run. Raleigh Wallace placed second in the 100 meters and the long jump. Blake Kibler set a new personal best in the 3200 meter race with a time of 12 minutes flat. Chanel is very proud of her boys and girls who have worked so hard this year. And in an email, she just went on and on about them her boys and girls so she's very proud of them so good job guys and we wish you all the best at the East Tennessee Middle School Elite Championship hey now don't forget Camel County Youth Soccer starts up 10 a.m. this Saturday morning at Ken Zanarly Park so get up there and watch these little boys and girls run around I'm going to go up and I'm going to try to take my little grandson Hunter up there with me and see what he thinks about it okay that's a good look at today's sports I thank you guys for being with me you guys stay tuned there's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF